Hello, today I show you how I replace at my Ford Fiesta 1.4 TDCI. The Eager Valve. As we can see, I installed a new Eager Valve with a new gasket. What tools we need I show you now. We first need safety gloves to protect our hands against cuts. Then a standard bit set with a small ratchet. And a needle to loosen the clamp. Of the eager valve connection. We will additionally bleed the fuel system, and how this works I'll show you in the course of the video. We are now starting to repair. First we have to disconnect the negative pole of the starter battery. For this I take the small ratchet with a 10mm nut. Next we remove the cable from the air mass meter. Now we remove the hose from the air filter box which leads to the turbocharger. To do this. We remove the two screws. Attention! On the hole sits a sealing ring which must not be damaged. Then we loosen the lower air inlet hose which leads to the air filter box. And now we remove the two screws from the air filter box. Now remove the sensor cable and disconnect the breather hose from the air filter box. Then lift the air filter box out. And now we remove the cable of the central electronics. For this, we only have to lift the cable clamp. Now we separate the fuel line leading to the diesel filter. We then remove the protective sheet from the dester filter. And now we disconnect the fuel line input and fuel line output from the filter. We now need to remove the two screws from the fuel filter holder. Attention! Risk of fire. Please do not smoke during this work because the diesel fuel can burn. And now we remove the sensor cable at the bottom of the fuel filter.
This is how the sensor cable looks. Then pull out the middle air filter hose. Here we can see the EGRA valve. Now we pull the cable out of the EGRA valve. The valve is fixed to the engine with two long Torx screws. Now I open the clamp which connects the EGRA valve and the manifold. For this step, I use a screwdriver with the flat nut, and simply loosen the clamp. Subsequently, I removed the screw from the manifold to make mounting on the flange of the new EGRA valve easier. And now we remove the two screws from the EGRA valve. Now we'll lift out the old EGRA valve. Attention! Please also remove the old seal. This is how our old EGRA valve looks. As we can see, the valve is very dirty. Cleaning has stopped working, and needs to be replaced now. It may be that the new EGRA valve must be registered in DACOOL. That is why I take the serial number from the valve to make a correct registration. Before installing the new valve, the contact surface on the motor should be clean to keep the gasket 100% tight. For this purpose, fine abrasive paper can be applied with approximately 400 grit and brake cleaner, since the contact surface must be clean without dirt and without grease. Now I put the screws in the new valve and put the new seal on it. Now we carefully mount the new EGRA valve. Please observe the correct dorks of the manufacturer. And now we mount again the clamp leads to the manifold. Then we tighten the screw of the manifold.
the correct dorks of the manufacturer must also be observed here. We now reconnect the sensor cable to the Eagre valve. We are now installing the fuel filter. To do this we have to fix the two screws again. Now we connect the sensor cable from the fuel filter gain. Then we connect the central electrics again. We are now starting to bleed the fuel system. For this step, we need a syringe with long injection needle and a canister of clean diesel fuel. Now we fill the syringe with diesel, and inject the fuel into the input chamber and into the exit chamber of the diesel filter until it is completely full. In order to work as clean as possible, place a cloth underneath. We then connect the fuel inlet and outlet lines. As we can see is air in the lines we are now removing with venting. For this, we take the fuel line from the fuel tank which leads to the diesel filter leads into the hand, and put the line into the canister filled with fresh diesel, so deep, so that the line can suck the fuel. The Ford 1.4 TDCI Durator engine has a standard of venting pump, which we now have to press at least 10 times.
As we can see, the air bubbles become less and less as a result of the vending process. It is normal, if you can still see small air bubbles, because the complete vent is run later. We now pull the hose out of the canister and reconnect it with the hose from the fuel tank. And now we are reassembling the bumper from the fuel filter. Now we push the middle air hose back down. And connect it to the front hose. Then we reconnect the air mass meter again. Now we reassemble the air filter box and screw it back. And now we screw the hose to the turbocharger again. Please observe the correct torques of the manufacturer. Now we connect again the sensor cable from the air filter box. Then we reconnect the air filter housing ventilation. Now we are closing the starter battery again. Finally, we start with the complete ventilation. For this, we must press the venting pump until the line is absolutely free of air bubbles. Before we start the engine, I delete the error and the IQ with my diagnosis interface and my laptop. For this I work with the software Delphi. The message, no error codes, appears.
We are finished with the repair and can finally start the engine. As we could see, the EGRA valve did not have to be registered in the system. I hope I helped you, and I wish you a lot of fun at work. Disclaimer of liability. I give no guarantee and no guarantee for the correctness and completeness of the works shown. Please ask a professional mechanic with license before attempting to repair them alone. Please always observe the legal safety instructions in order to avoid injury. Many thanks. Goodbye.